Hi there, welcome to my meal planning with 21 day fix containers. So I just kind of wanted to break it down and show you how I do it. I hope this isn't confusing, it might be. But uh, the way, just a little bit about it. So 21 day fix has the same similar guide as a 22 minute hardcore. The only difference really in the first two plans is uh, how many greens you get, which is great because then you're not shoving that many veggies down your throat, which I guess is never a bad thing. But either way, uh, so I'm going to base it off of, I'm going to teach today, I do plan one, which is also $1,200 to $1,499 in 21 Day Fix. So I just kind of wanted to show you how simple I keep things so that you cannot overthink it. That's my hope anyway. So... I, uh, on plan one, I get three greens, two purples, two yellows, four reds, one blue, three teaspoons, and an orange. So every other day I eat oatmeal in the morning. Uh, I do the overnight oatmeal. So it's just oatmeal, the unsweetened almond milk, and some agave. So that's going to be one yellow and uh, one orange for my agave. And then I um, on the other, on the days that I don't eat the oatmeal, my oatmeal goes in my shaky -o. So we'll get to that. After my breakfast, like two hours later, I eat, I drink my shaky -o, which is one red, and then I put a half a banana, always, always. So that's going to be my one purple, because one, a half a banana is a purple. And then at around 10, 10, 30, 11, I have a Greek yogurt, 0% Greek yogurt, which is a red. And inside it, I put my granola, which is a yellow. So my yellows are done for the day, which is what I aim for. I try to shoot for zero carbs after three o'clock. I just, I work out in the morning, so I need to carb load after my workout. Plus, I truly believe that that will help you um, not have to work so hard to burn, make your carbs into um, digestible instead because they're just gonna sit in your body if you're not doing anything. And since I work out in the beginning of the day, I just don't want to have that carb sitting in me while I'm sleeping, basically is my thought process. And then around one o'clock, I have a, a salad, which is one and a half greens. And usually that's one of my teaspoons. I don't do much for dressing. I actually purchased those uh, pre-made, tailor-made salads. Uh, I actually don't get the tailor-made kind. I get the Vons or Ralph's kind. And the reason for that is because it has tons and tons of lettuces and vegetables that I would spend hours prepping versus it's already pre-mixed for me. Another salad that I is a go-to for me is the broccoli slaw at Trader Joe's. I just take that and I cook it up with a little bit of olive oil and away we go. So that's my one and a half greens. And then at around 3, 30, 4 o'clock, I eat my other purple, which is an apple. And then... Um, for dinner, we aim to have one and a half greens and two reds. Uh, usually we have a protein, it's just either chicken and uh, salad, or we do chili, or we'll do, uh, for example, tonight we're having lasagna, a zucchini lasagna, so that's going to be my one and a half greens and my two reds, and then my blue, which is cheese. Uh, I kind of keep my blue open because I feel like there may be cheese with dinner a lot of times, so usually I either fulfill it or I don't, or it just kind of goes to the wayside. And then the last, uh, my last two teaspoons are usually used for cooking, so like olive oil or, um, I guess that's pretty much it, olive oil. So here's an example of me completing all of my containers. But that is sort of me showing you how simple you can keep these things. It doesn't have to be this well thought out menu plan, it can be super simple. And I feel like the reason 21 Day Fix 22 Minute is so successful in their meal plan is because it's causing you to not um, need food. You don't want to have to uh, want it so bad. Instead, it's giving you the essentials and then the rest is kind of just to fulfill your body so it can sustain itself. So uh, I think that that's why it's such a successful I don't even want to call it a diet because you're actually eating all the things that you need, but instead it's just to kind of help you stay on course throughout. So I hope this is helpful. Um, you're more than welcome to post any questions you have below and I will be happy to answer them, whether it's can I eat this or can I eat that or, and going into your week two, this 
creating a menu will be much more, you know, it'll be a lot easier. Um, and every Tuesday we'll share some good recipes that work well with 21 Day Fix. So um, anyway, I hope this is helpful. Have a great day.